We come to the time to hear God's word. Hallelujah. Amen. And uh, our message is from the book of Romans chapter 8, verse 28. Romans chapter 8. He said, and we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Hallelujah. God works for the good of those who love him. And we have been called for the purpose, for his purpose. So let us just pray. Holy Spirit, we just pray, Jesus, we come before you. And we just pray you will speak to our hearts, our soul, and our mind. Lord, as we come to hear God's word in Jesus' mighty name, we pray, Lord our God. And whatever the evil one has in plan, Lord, we destroy every power of the evil one. And we just pray, may you reign at this time, Jesus, as you speak to every heart, every soul, every mind in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. We are in 2024. Hallelujah. And when the scripture said in Romans 8, chapter, uh, verse 20, it said, And we know that in all things, hallelujah, in all things. So when the Bible says in all things, it's saying uh, whatever you have politics in your world, whatever was going on in your world, whatever what you trust, whatever you're a billionaire, in a millionaire, whatever who you are, he said, in all things, it means in all circumstances, in all things, in everything, hallelujah. He said, God works for the good of those who love him, hallelujah. For the good of those who love him. The question is, uh, do you love God? Because in all things, God works uh, for the good of those who love him. The book of John, chapter 14 and verse 23. Jesus said, if you love me, you will do what I command. And when God says that God works for the good of those who love him, it means those who obey his word. Hallelujah. Those who obey his word. He works for the good of those who obey his word. Hallelujah. This is 2024. And the scripture says in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, meaning those who obey him. And we have been called according to his purpose. Hallelujah. If today you are a Christian, you have been called to a purpose. And sometimes the word of God, you could read it, but if you don't trust her, hallelujah, it will do nothing to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because trust and faith, when we doubt, the promises doubt on you as well. So you are the key. When you read the Bible, you are the key. When we hear God's message. And in 2024, God would like you to trust that God will work. Hallelujah, in your situation, hallelujah. Whatever how your situation is today, but it will work, it will work through, hallelujah. It will work through in the name of Jesus Christ. Most of us, when we need something, God is our last option, hallelujah. Amen. Is in a human being uh, instincts. When we need something, God is our last option. Amen. And in other words, we use him like uh, uh, a spare tire. You know, you only use a spare tire when uh, in your car, hallelujah, your car had a problem, hallelujah. If then your car doesn't have a problem, you don't need a spare tire. That's how we use it in God. My beloved, as a Christian, one thing you have to know, the only way we exist, the only way we are here, the only way we are breathing, the only way we can hear God's word, because it makes it available, hallelujah, for us. Do you know the scientists, they could be looking for something up there. 
If God doesn't make it available for them to find it, they will never find it. Hallelujah. Amen. They will never find it. God wants to say, you are my children. In every situation, make sure you make me as a priority number one. Hallelujah. Don't use me as spare tire. What we do in practical, we use God as spare tire. I've got a situation. I go left and looking for answer. And we said, do you know someone who, uh, someone who knows how to fix this thing? So we're looking for someone. Hallelujah. Unfortunately, looking for someone is not a bad idea. But don't fail on the devil. Hallelujah. The devil might say, I know how to do it. Do you, do you know how to do it? Do you know how to quit cancer? Yeah, 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 if you want to. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he does it for you. And at the end, it cost you. Hallelujah. Amen. You have to be confident of this word. Whatever situation you are going through, God will work it through. Hallelujah. Amen. God will work it through. Hallelujah. Whatever situation you are going through, because God never, never, never forget his children. Remember, the children of Israel, they've been in Egypt how long? They've been slaves. But God worked through, hallelujah, they've been delivered in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. So at the end, God sent a deliverer. Hallelujah. And God would like you and I to understand whatever situation we are going through, he's going to work through as long as we, we trust in him. As long as we trust, as long as we continue to be obedient to him. Hallelujah. As long as we are faithful to him. If you are going through a situation in 2024, whatever you would like God to do, I would like you to trust that God will work through for the good of your life. Hallelujah. He knows the time. He knows when. He knows everything. He will work through in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He will work through. Let, let's... Uh, is there. Amen. Let me... Uh, Look at the Bible. I just want to give you an example of uh, Elijah. Hallelujah. This is in 1 Kings chapter 17. The story of Elijah and the widow. Hallelujah. Amen. So Elijah is the man of God. He's worshiping God. He's serving God. But he, he does not have food. Hallelujah. He does not have food. And the Bible tells us uh, in the book of uh, of. Uh, First King 17, verse 9. And uh, God at once, uh, he said then, uh, verse 8, then the word of the Lord came to him. He said, go at once, Azorephath, Azorephath, in the region of Sidon, and stay there. I have directed, when God said, I have directed a widow was there gathering sticks. Hallelujah. And he called her to her and asked her, would you bring me a little water in a jar? So God, the word of God came to Jeremiah and God said he, he, he has directed the widow. Hallelujah. No, what that means, when we need something, our God is able to direct her, whatever the person is a billionaire, whether it's famous, whatever who they are, they're going to come to you or they're going to call your name. Hallelujah. Amen. But God, one thing he wants from you is the obedience. Those who love him. Those who love him. Those who have been called according to his purpose. Those are baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. We have been called in the purpose of God. In this, in this world, we, so one thing we have to do is being obedient to God. Seek to be obedient. Seek to love God. Seek to do God's will. Full stop. Amen. Full stop. Because he a God, Elijah. And he said, no, according to God, you have food. He told the widow, according to God, you have food. But God said, you need to give me your food. I'm going to eat it. 
But the widow said, no, I've got just little of things, uh, and that's the only food I've got. I don't have nothing. Hallelujah. It means when the widow gives him that, his, uh, he, she doesn't have anything anymore. Hallelujah. Now the question is, can you do that? One pastor said, uh, I, I'm hungry, you know. You say you go just like that. No, can you just cook for me? Can you do that? It's difficult in our world. Hallelujah. Because we look at the practical things too much. Because when we are the children of God, everything becomes uh, supernatural. Hallelujah. The, not the practical. And the widow said, but I've got just these things and uh, my uh, son. And then Elijah I said, don't be afraid. My beloved, uh, when you give offering, uh, don't be afraid. Hallelujah. When you give offering, don't be afraid. Whatever you give to God, uh, don't be afraid. Whatever you buy for the church, uh, don't be afraid. Hallelujah. Because your God will work through. Hallelujah. But as the widow and uh, uh, trusted the word of God, as the widow, because uh, she loved God, and she gave Jeremiah the food. And after that, the Bible tells me, even the food and all these other things never run out. Hallelujah. Nothing runs out. And she was able to eat, and not just that, but God has double everything. Hallelujah. And here, God just works through Hallelujah, but it works through as well for the widow. Hallelujah. So she did not leave the widow behind.